Prime Minister Philip Bray Davis calling for a crackdown on gun trafficking from the United States at a regional meeting of police chiefs on Monday morning. The PM insisting a major part of the problem is guns being smuggled into the country from the U.S. And he says he has sounded the alarm with top U.S. officials. To the U.S. authorities that the right to bear arms in the United States does not also mean the right to traffic in those arms to the Caribbean countries. And I said that to the highest level. According to Prime Minister Davis, more than 90 percent of guns confiscated in the Bahamas can be traced back to American manufacturers and gun shops. The PM also telling the room full of high-ranking law enforcement officers that investigations have revealed a frightening trend. He highlighted the case of one Bahamian with U.S. ties who bought more than two dozen guns in the U.S. One Bahamian, for example, with American status, being able to buy 40 weapons in two or three gun shops over a period of one month, and within 10 days, one of those weapons have been found to be used here in the Bahamas. And it's only after, through the efforts of our police officers, they're able to determine that that one person bought those 40 guns within those period of time. We had the rest of those guns. The PM also insisting he has made his strong views on the matter well known to U.S. officials as high-ranking as the White House. He says they have listed and promised to assist with a crackdown. One step they have taken is to post an alcohol and tobacco, an AT, what the, AT, an ATF, personnel and, and alcohol, tobacco and firearms um, individual to the embassy. They attach the embassy now. That's a step in the right direction. And they also appointed another individual from the Homeland Security specifically for the purposes of assisting us in identifying, tracing these arms. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.